Hi everyone, it's Melanie and today I wanted to talk to you about how to work with coconut milk. So if you are new to using coconut milk, it can be a little confusing and overwhelming at first because it's an ingredient that it has is kind of finicky, especially when you first open the can. So what are the reasons for using coconut milk? Well, if you're going off dairy for any reason, then it's a great substitute in a lot of recipes. I use coconut milk to make ice creams, I use it in my smoothies, I use it um, to make my hot chocolate creamier, I use it in my tea for the same reason, and I even use it in soup recipes. I have a great Thai coconut soup that um, the coconut milk is wonderful in. So it's really versatile and I don't really find it to have too strong of a flavor once you mix it into other recipes. So if you're using the whole can, you probably won't have any problem. You just scoop out everything that's in there. But if you only want to use a little bit and save the rest for later, then there's a few tricks I'm going to show you because, um, because there's some separation and <laughs> some uh, issues like that can occur with the can when you first open it. So in terms of the health benefits of coconut milk, you've probably seen some of the controversy recently around coconut oil, and I'm really not worried. Coconut oil and coconut milk and the fat in all of these coconut products has been shown to be helpful for weight loss, for managing cholesterol, there's antioxidant and antimicrobial properties to the fat found in coconuts. So it's not something I'm worried about. Of course, that doesn't mean everybody tolerates coconut, but if you feel fine with it, then I wouldn't worry about any of those issues. So let's start. I'm going to change my computer over to the counter so I can show you how to use coconut milk. So there are several different brands of coconut milk and I prefer to get an organic one and this one brand specifically Native Forest comes in a BPA free can so I like that as well. And there are um, other ingredients you need to be looking out for. So this one just has coconut and water but it also has guar gum. So if you're sensitive to thickeners or you really want to minimize all the additives that you have in your coconut milk, this brand does sell one without the guar gum as well. But that's just something to be looking out for is preservatives and other thickeners in your coconut milk. And actually before I open this I want to show you that depending on the weather and the season you may be able to see this one doesn't shake but I don't know if you can hear that but this one shakes and it, you can tell that it has some liquid in there and you can shake it all up to emulsify it but this one like doesn't shake at all there's nothing moving around so this is what I want to show you is exactly what to do when you get a can of coconut milk that doesn't seem to want to be able to shake and mix up so you want to take the lid off, obviously, and then um, scoop out the fat. So what you're going to notice is that there's two parts to coconut milk, and there's the creamy part here on top. Sorry, I was looking for a spatula. So there's a creamy part here on top, and you can even just like, you know, put it upside down and nothing is going to come out. So to be able to really work with this, and especially if you're using it in subsequent recipes, you want to be able to mix it all together. So what I do is I just scoop out all of the fat, whoa, and I don't know if you saw that, but you have to be careful because there's liquid underneath, and if you're not careful like I just wasn't, it can all come out. So, um, whoops. Um, so you want to just pour all the liquid out and not make so much of a mess as I'm making here. But scoop out all the fat, pour out all the liquid into another container. And this is how I make it so that I have a nice um, creamy coconut milk that's all combined. So you can see the difference here. There's the fat part and then the liquid on, underneath is the coconut water. So you have the coconut cream and the coconut water. And sometimes you want a recipe that only uses the coconut water or you only want to use the coconut cream. If you have something that you just need the cream for, like um, certain pie recipes or just adding a little bit of the cream to say your, your, um, your tea or something like that, then you can save the coconut water for smoothies and you can definitely use them separately. But a lot of times you want them together. One of the things I do with my coconut milk that I didn't mention yet is I pour it over my cereal. And I have a grain-free cereal recipe that I love. And I don't really want that clumpiness of the cream. So in that case, you want to mix it all together. And then I just pour it back into the can when it's mostly combined. And then I just put some plastic wrap over the can and I keep it in the fridge that way and it won't re-solidify. Once you've combined it, it'll stay, it might get a little bit thicker, but it won't solidify. And so you'll have a nice creamy coconut milk that you can work with throughout the week. Whoops, I keep spilling this. <laughs> but you can see it's all nice and creamy. And you can use that throughout the week and pour it into different things. So that's my coconut milk demo, my messy demo. <laughs> I hope it was helpful for you. And if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook, depending where you're watching this. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.